Let's uh let's talk about some NFL right quick. I I trust that you at some point watched a little bit of the NFL Hall of Fame enshrinement. Yeah, I've I've seen I've seen a lot of clips and highlights and and different different video. I didn't man, I, I'm I wasn't listening to fourteen different speeches. Yeah, no, 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 I, absolutely not. Uh, I I was able to catch uh, catch Edgar and James and Peyton Manning. I left I had it on the TV. But I actually turned the volume up <laughs> once I saw them on there. But of course, there was, you know, just a a lot of, a lot of different guys. Steve Atwater, Paul Tagliabue, and just a, a bunch of guys that that you know who they are, right? Steve Hutchison, uh, Donnie Shell, et cetera, et cetera. Isaac Bruce, you know, Memphis guy. I I loved the Edgar and James stuff, right? The Nobody thought, and it's the typical, nobody thought that I should be here and blah, 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 blah. But him pointing out the fact that he has dreads on his bust is one of the most awesome speeches. If you haven't seen it, you can find it on Twitter. You can find it everywhere else, I'm sure. Uh, But, and I think ESPN.com actually has it up. But his speech was awesome. And then Peyton Manning, I thought, you know, obviously we all expected uh, his to be good. Uh, Troy Palomalu, I, I thought his was okay. Jimmy Johnson. I do want to talk about that for a minute. Uh, Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones. There was a lot on the Thursday night broadcast where Jerry sat up there with them. I, did you know that there was as big of a beef between Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson? And it, obviously, it's been squashed at this point. But I had no idea that it was as, as bad as they said that it was. Did you know about that? Well, yeah, yes, I knew about that. It, you know, but you. You, got, you don't listen to nearly as much NFL content as I do over the years. And that's it. Yeah. That's where you're going to hear that. I mean, these stories aren't out aren't out there for, you know, mainstream media of consumption. you you got to listen to the people that tell those stories. But, yeah, very, very clear that it was – I mean, it was real bad. It was nasty. I mean, it was nasty on both sides. You know, the majority of almost everybody alive would side with Jimmy Johnson, but you know, there, there are some people that understand Jerry's perspective on everything, but no, every, all of that is good. All of that's fine. Now over the last several years, they've gotten along well, and you know, talk okay. and whatever, but it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. I mean, you know, it was a, it was a big class because they were trying to do two years at once, but, uh, but I thought it was a cool class. It, it definitely was bill Cower uh, was in on this one. Um, you know, I mean, it, it, a lot of uh, posthumous ones as well. But this was, uh, this was awesome. I mean, it, it was a really good class. I was it, just a ton of big names, guys that are recognizable. I thought it was really, really well done. Did you watch any of the Hall of Fame game? No, zero. I I watched a little bit, but it, it, the Hall of Fame game every year is just it, you you get excited because it's the first football of the season, right? But whoo, that is rough. Rough. That's that is not the typical football that we see. <laughs> but like, I, I don't get excited because that's the first football game of the season. I get excited because that means football is getting closer. But that doesn't mean I'm going to watch the damn thing. Yeah, it it was it's it was really bad. bad. Yes, the messy, nasty. Jabril Cox and Micah Parsons were the two highest rated players for the Cowboys. They're both defensive guys, both rookies. I thought that was impressive. But other than that, uh, the kickers. Not great. There was just nothing that you could possibly take out of this that would tell you anything that you need to know about football going forward this season. Both of those teams still have three preseason games just like everybody else. You know, football is closer. We're going to have preseason games this week. So I am excited about that part of it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.